Welcome to Ultimate Mar Bros. Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ultimate Mar Bros. And today we are playing Resident Evil Village. Now I am going to be totally honest with you guys. My history with Resident Evil is almost non-existent. As in, I have absolutely no history with the games. I have never played Resident Evil, ever. My history is only with the four movies with Mila Jokovic in it as the main character. And I got about ten minutes into this game and then I thought, this might be perfect for the channel. And I really got nothing. So I'm going into this almost completely blind with almost no knowledge. Oh, where's the backstory? Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to make berries for her father, who was hard at work. This is actually quite interesting, so I'm going to shut up and let this play. The bush is empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. You idiot. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she Why would you drink that? Dark blood and smiled with joy. Pat Why? Menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, ghost. This is a trap, kid. Run! And smiled with joy. Kids are stupid. Across waters deep and ominous she went. Why? She found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Why? Then the fish came up. And offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fin. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Yeah. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Does this feel like it belongs in a Resident Evil story? Maybe an old, its own ghost story? Exactly. The woman at the store said it was traditional. A local tale. My ass. Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Clearly. You're just being paranoid. It's not. Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. I'm with the dead. Are her heads freaking giant to you guys? Uh huh. Look, guys, I haven't gotten very far past this point. I can't hear this. Okay.
Okay, well, I guess. Did you say something? That's just gonna be. And this looks like a really, really nice house. In all honesty, I could live in a house like this. This is really nice. But who reads a story like that to a six month old baby? Unless you're trying to traumatize her. I got you. I got you, Rose. It's like I said to you. It's too scary for you. It would scare the crap out of me, that's for damn sure. What is this? Oh! I never saw that before. <coughs> okay, so apparently this is from a sequel to Resident Evil 7. How about cover the baby? How about cover the baby? Okay. Why don't you grab the toy and give it to the baby? Dingbat? What's this? No. Okay. I'm not. I'm not reading all that noise. But. What's this? Is this how you save the game? Oh, That's really cool, actually. If I ever get married, I would like to see, get one of those. Mia's medication. She's been on strict regimen ever since the accident. Accident? Your wife was... Poisoned? Brainwashed? And she tried to murder you. Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. On more than one occasion. Yeah, makes everything by hand. So this stuff keeps going. Well. Okay. Yeah. Is she okay? Sleeping like a. Uh, makes sense. Put your hands off, mister. It's Chorba de Legon. Chorba de Legon? Did you say that correctly? Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Well, what? You have way too much food. Stop worrying. It's just... Okay. I get why she's saying not to worry, but it's literally a parent job. I mean, I'm not a parent, but in my opinion, it is literally a parent, especially a dad, job to worry about the family. Why are you in Louisiana? I can see your first moving is here. The military training all happened so fast. At least we're all together. Well, there goes a death flag. Who else saw it? Now? I'm waving the death flag. Seriously? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... Called it. Yeah, get down. How did she not react? Yeah. It's as if she felt no pain whatsoever. I, I feel for this guy, man. He's just trying to protect his family and... His wife is going through some shit. Always. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry. No! Okay, okay. Forgive me for pausing again. So, from what I understand, this guy is Ethan. is the one who saved this guy and his wife from Louisiana. And he's also the one who trained Chris. 
I train you the main character. This is all stuff that was before the game started that for some reason I wasn't able to play again. So here's my problem with this whole situation. This is the guy who saved you, trained you, and now he's being sent to kill you. That makes no sense. On a storytelling basis, for me, I would have had this guy go rogue trying to save me again. Again, this is just my own personal opinion, but I wouldn't bring the guy who saved you as of antagonist for right now. Don't move! Oh, and now you oh, took his baby. What the hell you doing with my daughter? Back to the cure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. You're talking to Ethan like he's a dog. Bad boy! You think a father's not gonna do everything in his power to protect his baby? You're an idiot. And again, my history with these games is this is the very first Resident Evil game I have ever played. Wow, it is hot in here. Don't get a tin roof, guys. Be your home. Hey, Doc. It makes it impossible to cool off your home. We need have tin roofs. That was the doctor. She sees things right Hey, can you block out that sun? It's blinding me, the player. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Okay, can you blame the guy? It's not those that I'm worried about. Then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! Just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Photo mode? Yeah. I have to take What is photo mode? Oh. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. My little angel. Honestly, she's kind of creepy. Now, I know babies are cute in real life, but in games, babies are always creepy little people. They, they just always look wrong, in my opinion. It's like you go to... It's like a European doll. That's what babies look like in games. Honestly, what the hell happened here? Exactly. And where did I get the flashlight? That's useless, I'm not even gonna check. Yeah, and this is a problem with this Resident Evil game that I have. I don't care for first person games. Like, Call of Duty and first person shooters. I do not care for the first person view at all. And I get that that is a really huge draw for this game because it's supposed to scare you. It's supposed to make you feel like you're a part of the game or the world itself. But I just can't get into being right there. 
I guess. I like being able to see 360 degrees around the character, as in see the entire character while he's moving. But, man, this is not fun. Hey, idiot, you have a long sleeve shirt. Why didn't you just pull that up a little bit? You saw the fucking razors. Granted, I know you were just in a car crash and your head might just be a little bit scrambled, but come on, you should have. Is that a crow? A bird of some. Yeah, it looks like a crow. <laughs> uh. Oh, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, this ain't, this is for the birds. Going the wrong way. What happened? Okay, I guess I can continue going. Oh shit! I got fucking turned around. This is this is really not fun at all. <laughs> But, I'll, I'll be honest, if I was here, this would absolutely terrify me. Get out of my words. Ah! Fucker! Piece of shit, motherfucker. I keep getting turned around because I can't see a jack. What the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? It looked like something was walking in front of me. Come on. This is a Resident Evil game. Where's the jump scares at? <laughs> this would be a perfect opportunity for a jump scare right here. Honestly. Any, anything happening. Okay, don't get me wrong. I don't care for jump scares. I don't care for horror. What? Why can't I grab that? Yeah, I wouldn't put my hand in that water. Absolutely not. No sirree. Fuck. What's that sound? Come on, give me a weapon or something. Nothing. It's fucking nothing. Oh, no, there's some blood. Ooh. What in the hell is this guy thinking? Going down these stairs. I mean, honestly. I sure as hell wouldn't go down in this basement. Uh, I guess I knocked that over. Oh, yeah. That ain't freaky.
Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Welcome to Resident Evil Village. What? The hell is that? Oh yeah, cause that ain't fucking creepy. Let's just go. What happened? See, I really wish I had someone here to work off of and talk when I'm playing this game. This is definitely one that I wish I had someone with me. Well, it sure did get bright quick. Good question, Ethan. Why would you turn off the flashlight? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is about where I've left off in the game in my playthrough. I There's a couple houses that further down that I've gone to, but aside from that, I got nothing. I don't know what's about to happen, so let's move on, shall we? And I will see you next time. Please, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and crush that bell. And I can't wait to see the nine foot tall woman.